the best live 2D software on PC is arguably VTube Studio. But what's the best live 2D software on mobile? I guess that's VTube Studio too. Hello everyone, I'm your VTuber Senpai and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you on how to set up VTube Studio on mobile. VTube Studio Mobile is an incredibly lightweight and easy program to use on your phone. And it works on both Android and iOS devices. The first thing we need to do is head to the Play Store if you're on an Android and on the App Store if you're on an iOS device. Once there, we're gonna type in VTube Studio. We're gonna download and install it. With the program now installed, let's do the setup. With the application now open, we want VTube Studio to access the camera the microphone, our local networks, and anything that might pop up on the screen. Now that the initial setup's all done and ready to go, let's go through some settings. The first setting we're gonna look at is camera calibration. This will calibrate your face properly with the app itself. The next one we're gonna look at is avatar selection. We don't have an avatar loaded just yet, but it does have a few avatars we can use for free. The next one we're gonna look at is background selection. So we can change our backgrounds to whatever we have pre-selected or even upload our own. To change it back, all we gotta do is click on the icon again, scroll down and hit default, then select. We're now gonna pull up the settings menu. And from here, we can see we have some general configuration, streaming settings that we're gonna be sending to the PC and things like mouse input configuration, VC face configuration, stuff like that. AR camera configuration, I will leave that to default. All these settings, I would probably just leave to default and maybe mess with that as you gain a little bit more experience with the app. Now that we've loaded one of VTube Studio's default models, we go into settings and model settings, we see that we get a lot of different configuration and settings that we could use to control the model. So again, you guys can play through this as much as you need to or want to. It is a cool way to customize the avatar. Next menu we see here is hotkey. So we could actually add on custom hotkeys if we wish to do so, which is fantastic. The next menu that we have here is language settings. So if you don't speak English and you speak something different, you can change the language settings here. Great, now that we've done all the basic settings for VTube Studio, let's look at uploading some avatars. To upload our avatars onto our phones, we actually need to have a PC. So if you don't have a PC, just head over to a friend's house and you're gonna have to upload it that way. I'm sorry, but that's just how VTube Studio is working at this particular time. We will also need to connect the phones via USB to our computers. So if you're using a PC or a Mac, make sure you connect it via USB. But let's start on the Android version. So will we click on avatar selection on the Android version and click on import your own model, you're gonna see this screen here. Basically telling us that we have to go to your phone, Android data, com.denchi.vtubestudio slash file slash live 2D models. So let's see how we do that. So we're gonna click on the Android folder, data, then com. Then we're gonna click on files, live 2D models, and then we're gonna paste our model into this folder. And just like that, it's uploaded to VTube Studio. Now that we know how to upload the model onto Android, let's work on our iPhone. As we click on the model selection on our iPhone and we click on import model, we see that it requires iTunes to do this setup. So let's do that right now. With iTunes open, all we need to do is head to file sharing, make sure we select VTube Studio. We are gonna click on live 2D models and then we are gonna select save. Then we are gonna download this folder to a trusted place on our computer, usually the desktop, but I'm gonna save it on my local disk C and I'm gonna click on select folder. It will download. And as we see on the local disk C, our live 2D models are right here. All we need to do now is copy and paste our model into that folder, which is located right here. And as we see, it's in there right now. So all we need to do is now drag and drop this back, click on replace, 
And just like that, it'll upload and your avatar is now on your phone. And now with VTube Studio open on the phone, we see that the avatar is loaded. So when we click on it, we're gonna get a little error message. We're gonna click okay. And there's our avatar right there. We click on the X on the bottom left, adjust ourselves to where we need to be. And well, we're good to go. Even though we have our VTube Studio all done and ready to go, we aren't done just quite yet. Because what's the point of having a VTube Studio on your phone if you can't actually stream it from your phone? So let's do that right now. We wanna go back to the App Store and look up Streamlabs. We're gonna download and install it. During the setup, we will click on Capture Desktop and then continue and following the on-screen prompts, allowing everything that pops up. With that done, let's calibrate some settings in Streamlabs. We're gonna click on the button on the top left-hand side. We're gonna click on Screen Capture. We're gonna make sure we connect the application to the platform we want, either it be YouTube or Twitch. We're gonna create a event. We're gonna click on Tutorial and we're gonna do what it tells us to do for iOS. Android, we don't really have this much of a problem. It's a lot easier on Android. Now we're gonna go back into screen capture. We're gonna click on our platform. We're gonna create an event. We're gonna call it test access. I set mine to private. You can set it to public or unlisted. Then we're gonna click on save. Once we click on save, it will pop up with a window. We're gonna click on got it. And we're gonna click on go live. On iOS, it will try to stream to the photos, AKA making a video. Make sure you click on Streamlabs. Once you do that, you will now see that we are streaming here on YouTube. So if you are someone that doesn't have a computer, but you do have a live 2D model and you don't mind doing just chatting, this is the perfect solution for you. And I really hope this video helps you out. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you share it around, smash that like button and hit subscribe. I do upload here every Wednesday. I also stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evenings. So come on by and say hi. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Special thank you goes out to our very first Patreon, Blue underscore Devil. Thank you so much for your support.